pandemic has meant a lot of tears for Hoosier brides who had to cancel their weddings during the worst of the outbreak. Many of them have now set new dates well beyond the typical wedding season of April to October, and that has Central Indiana wedding planners very busy, extremely busy, in fact. And joining me this morning live, Felicia Dale, Senior Wedding Coordinator and the Director of the Wedding Planning Studio. Good morning to you, Felicia. Good morning. Thanks for having me. So I hear you guys have been extremely busy. Yes, we have been very busy. There's been a gradual um, yet quick uh, uptick in business. Tell me about the Milltop in Noblesville. Absolutely. So um, the Milltop in Noblesville is uh, it's a historic building. It was okay. built in 1865. It's 60,000 square feet. So with that much space, we have multiple spaces for events, and we're able to host uh, three weddings simultaneously on wow. the same day. At the same at, time? At the same time. Mm -hmm. How many weddings do you have planned to the end of the year? Well, to kind of put things into perspective, um, the wedding season normally ends for us about the first weekend of November. Okay. But this year in November, we hosted 13 weddings. Wow. And we've got seven more to complete in the next four weeks for the end of the year. And that does not include any of our holiday parties. And these are weddings that have been previously scheduled and the pandemic had to pretty much shut everything down. So, uh, yes, yeah, some of them had been previously scheduled, and then some of them are just couples that have realized, hey, the door is open, we need to get married. <laughs> what does a typical fall season look like? Sure. So, um, our fall season, as we mentioned, the uh, wedding season is from April to October. Correct. But the fall season for us, our peak time is September and October. So, if you take a look at our pre COVID numbers mm -hmm. in 2019, we had 85, wedding book, oh, 85 weddings booked, and then uh, 25 of those were hosted in that two month time frame that September and October. But if we fast forward to 2021 and we take a look at those numbers, we had 119 weddings booked this year. And then we had 35 of those happen in that two month time frame. So I'm thinking as you mentioned all these numbers here, you had to increase staff. Absolutely we did. So yes, um, every every couple that comes through the mill top, which I, I work very closely with right. them, um, they, they get to take advantage of our events team so we help every couple plan from beginning to end and with the increased booking for the venue we needed more hands on deck to yeah, get these that weddings sense. planned that makes sense so uh, we went from uh, pre-covid we had three full-time planners four associate planners we now have eight oh, wow. full-time planners and we have seven associate planners so and we also had to add a couple more positions so okay. we now have a director of events for the mill top and then we also uh, added a customer represent um, excuse me a customer Customer um, service representative right. that helps our new clients get onboarded and really jumpstart that planning process. So there are brides out there watching right now and they're thinking about planning how far in advance should they be thinking. Absolutely. Really quickly, we have less than 30. Sure. So uh, pre-COVID, 12 to 14 months was what you could expect. Uh, now, if you're going to be shopping with a specific date in mind, you really need to start looking 18 to 24 months in advance. Okay. And my pro tip here is to um, go with a range of dates or a season in mind so that you really have more opportunity to book that dream venue. Good information, Felicia Dale, Senior Wedding Coordinator. Thank you so much Absolutely. for the information. I'm sure a lot of brides out there watching they needed that information so they're not really stressed about planning the wedding really appreciate it if you need help coordinating your wedding we'll have more information on the wedding planning studio over at fox59.com links we'll also connect you to the mill top jim we'll see